we're going to be okay. I just um, sort of kept repeating, repeating that. Catherine Posada is remembering what it was like on that deadly Valentine's Day. She's telling a room full of students who have aspirations to be teachers what it was like. You may ask why. My small way of doing something, trying to um, share these ideas with people and, and, and hopefully help inspire them to keep going in, uh, in the profession that they're, they've chosen. Listening intently was Morgan Schreiber. Her 14-year-old brother was at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School that day. Didn't hear from him, and then I get a text um, in a closet, I'm safe. Schreiber wants to be a teacher. In fact, you can say she has a new resolve to be a teacher after listening to Posada and reflecting on her brother. A certain type of person is the type of teacher that you want, and I'm hoping that I am that type of person. But Schreiber and the pack room heard Posada talk about solutions our country's leaders have talked about as an answer to school violence. Teachers being armed with guns, I think that is a terrible idea. Um, and I have many reasons for that. <laughs> she says it's not in her makeup to be a gun-toting teacher. This talk and this climate is daunting for potential teacher Chelsea Smith. But she is undeterred. Um, even though I am nervous and I am a little scared, I feel like that nervousness and that, that energy is what's going to propel me to do my job the best. Remember Morgan? Her job this weekend is a reunion with her family. Her parents and her brother Garrett are in Bloomington. Passana is on her way back to Florida, but before she left, at the end of her talk, she got a standing ovation. The School of Education banner says, the promise of an education that works anywhere. Basada is testimony to that promise. Derek Thomas, RTV6.